Two counts of video voyeurism. We know that he tans all over um, Jefferson County. The video voyeurism net keeps getting wider for LMPD detectives investigating 33-year-old Philip Gaynor. And the list of victims is getting longer. Most women were in various stages of undress, uh, with most of them being naked. Seven women ages 24 to 59 have now recognized themselves in videos police say were taken by Gaynor. All seven at this suntan city on Mud Lane. The first, October 30th. The female that had reported seeing a camera that was over the partition um, where the wall didn't come all the way up to the ceiling. That victim described it on social media as disturbing and embarrassing. She said as she got out of the tanning bed and was getting dressed, quote, I looked up and I saw it was being filmed by someone in the next tanning room over. And the person quickly pulled the phone away as soon as I looked up. The, the invasive nature of it, of people's privacy. She reported it to Suntan City and police. There was a stool in the room. I got on the stool and stuck my phone up there and, and we, we saw that it was possible. Detectives checked the logs to see who was in the room next door and say it came back to Gaynor. In these kind of cases, typically it's not the suspect's first time. Detectives got a search warrant for his car and home and cell phone, which had orange on the case as the victim described seeing. We interviewed him, he denied everything originally, um, and then we confronted him with a video that was on his phone. And at that point, he asked for an attorney. And then we continued to find more and more victims. Police say they also found videos and images of clothed women shopping at local stores. You're not talking about in dressing rooms. You're just saying he was like taking pictures of breasts or? Correct. 